or something. So this is inside my heart. Can I say as this is not a backseat, but more who's pretty good for this boss? Uh, who is pretty good for this boss? You mean who to put into the party? Sure, be free. I didn't think it'd be like this. Do you remember? Aww. This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after mom died. That's, That's correct. correct. Look at the next one. This... this is... when mom jumped in front of that car. Aww. That's right. Now the next. Gosh. No. Don't run. I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the phantom thieves. Ah, oh, tough treatment. Come on, Fatala. Okay. Oh, look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Oh boy. Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? And more to it. Just a little before Mom died, I whined about wanting to go on a family trip, but she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what, what did you do? I threw a tantrum. Told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. Uh... Did she say... My research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. Aww. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. Aww. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Oh boy. Who did you do this research for? And I mean, yeah, that goes completely against what it said in the suicide note, right? Did she hate you? She didn't? What? She smiled. Ah, my head! It hurts! Which is true! You're your memories. Huh? It's calling me? The, the hell? We ain't doing shit to it! <sighs> oh boy. But hey, Futaba battling through it. Hopefully coming to our rescue. But I mean, what is she going to do? Uh, Morgana. Make me sad as I fought this boss without him. Or <laughs> Yeah, I mean, also don't have him on my team right now, right? Futaba? You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... What happens then? That's... You killed her! No! Why don't you say something? But why would people forge a suicide note? I mean, how fucked up is that to blame a child falsely for that? But why would they even do that? Probably because someone killed her mother, right? If she went like and threw herself in front of a car? We're going to find out. It's 
your fault. It's my fault. It's my it's fault that mom. Wait, is that monster her mother? Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. Futaba's awakening coming, probably. Kind of feels like it, right? I mean, who's going to make the difference in this fight? <laughs> I hope it's her. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. You are nothing but a demon who stood in my way. I wish you had never been born. That way I could have announced my results without having to waste my time on you. I poured my heart and soul into that research. It would have been the discovery of the century. What does she mean by that? Could she be talking about cognitive science? You're going to die! There is no meaning to your life! No one needs you! Nobody cares about me. Come on, Futaba, stand up to that! I should never have had Futaba. She was always such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba-chan. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. Hey, we're gonna be in deep shit if this keeps up. Mm -hmm. So, because she thinks she killed her mother, and because she thinks she deserves to die, Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? Futaba-chan, look! There's no way that monster is your mother! It's just an illusion you created! B but She never abused you, did she? Boss told us! He said she did her best to raise you alone! Can the Shadow Futaba appear again and help us? Isn't this a, a false Taba? memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Ah! You made your mother destroy all her research, Futaba Chan. They want to get rid of the research, and that's why they killed her, and then blamed it on Futaba just to cover up. She had worked so hard on this well. That's so messed up. She lost her mind, and it's all because of you. What the heck? It's your fault! Mom, I... It's her shadow! Futaba Sakura, remember! You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. What? Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. I mean, it also doesn't make any sense. Even if you just want, if you just cared about your research, why wouldn't you just press on? Does it make sense to kill yourself due to that? Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, nice. but she cared for me! Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart. Get mad. Don't forgive those rotten adults. Go for the rebellion. Awaken your persona. It's because I couldn't face myself. Poor mom's death. Even then, why did they have to yell at me like that? <sighs> it looks so small compared to us. Utabachan? What 
denies you is an illusion. Yeah, we have it. A curse put upon you by the heartless. You knew from the very beginning, and yet you cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew, but I. What's she going to look like? It's all your fault. This time you'll be the one to die. Will you die as you are told? Who will you obey? Cursed words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault. It's all your fault. I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. Do we still have to fight the boss then? And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them! Right, here we have it. Shadow transform into the persona? Oh boy. It's an UFO of tentacles. Contract. I am thou. Thou art I. Oh boy. Hidden wisdom has been revealed. No mystery. No illusion shall deceive you anymore. Very cool that her shadow becomes a persona. And it's a new Please, phone. Help me! That's gotta go! Wait, that's your main problem? Her voice changes so much, like so much more powerful and confident. Oh, please, not again. Damn, it's going to swoop down on us again, isn't it? What can we do? Uh, so when you play Persona 4, this part is very interesting as it follows the way Persona 4 characters awaken, which is why I probably love her awakening a lot more. Oh, so it's, usually, it's always connected to like their shadow part, or what do you mean? But if Shadow becomes her Persona, I've got to play Persona 4 one day, all I say. I'm definitely planning on doing that. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Did you, by the way, also play the older ones, like Persona 1 or Persona 2? They're counting on you. World, right? Hacking into my distortion should be no problem for me. Nice. Hacking into your own palace. I won't let nice. You. You got now it's our turn. Here but yeah, it was a really cool awakening. And also just a really cool different take on a different kind of palace and ruler. And we have an UFO now. Uh, and a Melissa. Shoot it down with this, then beat the crap out of it. Ah, I get it now. Let's go. Let's bring that thing down. Alright. Should I send someone to shoot the Sphinx? I'll oh, shoot. You want me to fire? I'll shoot it. Mind if I do it? I'll shoot. Mind if I do it? I'll shoot it. You want me to mind if I do it? Go for no particular reason. Good luck with the fight. I'm trying. Persona! Uh, one kind of annoyed me as recruitment is so hard. What do you mean by that? Okay, um, let's boost our attack, I'd say. Oh, which is kind of stupid because we just sent away a character. Uh, 
Vicara? Nö. Vicunda? Nö. Äh, Vicara, Marunda? They all sound so similar. Didn't we have one to... Yeah, let's go for evasion first. Just to be a bit more protective. Ryuji was best choice. Oh, it actually makes a difference? I am down. That was, yeah, like, he's like, when in doubt, the most sporty guy, so... It doesn't seem wrong. Prepare yourself! Persona! Okay, let's also... Okay. Level up our defense once again. So now we are good in evasion and in defense. I hope it's good. I like how at the same time the cognitive cognitive Bakava is like absolutely hates being her mother, but also plays the mother card. Great. That's not true. Concerned mother. I just wanted to say, with a mom like her, who needs enemies? <laughs> Absolutely right. Who would even say maybe you're right? You're a fake. Just look at your body. Listen, my mom is so precious to me, and I still love her a ton. But you're not her. Nice. Do we even need to deal damage? Change direction. Aim the tip at her. Uh, Persona 1, you have to play it to understand it, as it's like a quiz, but you never know the answers. Oh, you mean like shadow recruitment? to improve like attack for everyone am I messing things up Mazukara or something like that Rakukara oh, okay actually we don't seem to have that let's see what's the most powerful attack we can do I think we had like a heavy damage skill somewhere. Fry do Ravage them. Nice. It over 100. I lend it. Persona, feel my rage. Yeah, I think this fight without Futaba would have been impossible. That was such a cool repelling attack. 700 damage. Come on, Ryu D. You still sound like a very concerned mother, my dear. Shut up! You're not my mom! You're 
just a monster born from my own weakness. Everyone, keep attacking it. Don't let up. Do it. Soda. Let's there. go with Friday again. I'm wondering if I should have lowered her defense. Probably should have done that. Oh well. Uh, then maybe let's do that now. Uh, Dekunda, Dekunda, Dekunda. Rakunda. I think Rakunda is improving for one. No. Naga. Right. So I think now attacks will be much more powerful. Yes. This is my other self. I lend it. Persona. Uh, should I boost up my defense? Nah, it's going to work out, right? Persona. Ah, maybe. You know what? Let's play safe. I don't want to repeat this fight. <laughs> That's a long animation. I hope we can shoot it down again. Gosh, and Futaba lived all those years. With that imagination of a mom. All you did was get in the way of my research. I should have never had you. You're wrong. No, that's exactly what I've always thought. If Mokama wasn't around, I... That's a lie. Mom told me herself. She said no matter what, she could keep working so hard because of me. The one who decided my existence was a burden on her is myself, no one else. And those damn people who wrote that fake suicide note. I wonder if we're still going to see a treasure, because I mean... We don't really need to change the heart anymore, right? Because the palace ruler is kind of gone. We've got her back. That's impossible. No, with them, even the impossible can be made possible. Oh. I guess if you answer those questions like wrong. That probably Futaba doesn't help you, right? But I mean, he would do that. Oh, nice! I think she's almost done for. Persona. Come on, Mothman. Right, dude. Go down. Was that enough? You're done for. He also has a really cool suit, by the way. Kind of Tron-like. Fire! Pyramid was way smaller than I expected it to be. It felt, like, way bigger. Nice. Step forward. 
And did you see that? Futaba also had a level up to level 31 though. So I think we're not under leveled. Defense Master, what does that do? Automatic Rakukaja at the start of the battle. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Fry. We don't need Fry and Fry though. GG, thank you! Yeah, it felt way bigger. Right? Especially like the top part was like even more. Futaba! Damn, you're freaking incredible! And she has amazing goggles. But that's her mask, I guess. Whoa, what in the world? Ooh, it's totally skin tight! Another thing Aww. showed up? But she looks not distorted, I hope. Mom? Huh? Futaba. Thank you for choosing to remember the real me. Aww. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Mom! Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Aww. Are you being selfish again? Um, I... I love you, Mom. I love you too, Futaba. Now, you should get going. Oh, poor Futaba. <sighs> oh, right, Majid. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. That was pretty quick, dude. Huh. Oh, right. And not another word. <laughs> okay. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Like you're one to talk. Fair. But if we have her on our side... Mm. Wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. I also wonder, like Morgana in the beginning said like something happens when the owner of a palace enters, right? Did something really change? Or was it like the palace ruler becoming the persona of the palace owner? Hmm. What's the treasure? It's empty? <laughs> What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure. Hmm. See? It was the palace leader in the sarcophagus. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. And? This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise. Yeah, for Tava's timing, walking away was better. How did Futaba even make it? She just like slowly walked away. Still alive? Is Mona still alive? Mona's still alive. That's good. I thought I was gonna die and. Uh, hey! Will you let go already? Oh. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Not again. Uh. What was that sound? Huh? What are you guys doing out here? This was close. Yeah, and it seems to get like closer and closer by Palace. Me. Where's Futaba? What about Futaba? 
Um. Yeah, friends. Yes. I guess. We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea. That's fine, but I'm not thirsty though. Oh, you scared. Read the room. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Ah, poor Yusuke. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. We're acting so suspicious. Uh, it's insane. Okay. Gotcha. So Makoto proposes we drink Let's coffee and then the leave. Ah. Oh boy. Futaba? Can you hear me? Please say something! Please! Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. But I mean, after that day, after witnessing all that, with all that trauma, I think it makes sense that she's a little bit dumb. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? Oh yeah, the greatest one. The plague. You do. Can you contact them? A house call is gonna cost you, you know. How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Is she even making money? She doesn't take money from anyone, it seems. Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I mean, given that she always stayed inside, makes sense. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. Cap ramen is probably also not the best diet. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. About the Metaverse? Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Uh-huh. Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? Not really. Gosh, I don't think... Do you think Sujiro would approve? But I mean, then again, we have this daughter, right? Does he even know that Futaba's a hacker? It seems we can actually do a decision here. Let's wait for now. What if nothing happens until it's too late? Letting him know is really the only option we have. Oh boy. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Ah, we're talking about her condition. Okay, that makes 120% sense what that we tell him about that. I thought it was like about this whole palace house sitting thing. Hey, Futaba? Hey! You look so different about glasses. Oh dear. Uh, um, about Futaba. Hmm? Well, why do you guys look so down? Um, there's someone having... <laughs> what? Why would we be happy? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. What? Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. Oh boy. Her condition really doesn't sound like it's the best. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. What? I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm that for sure doesn't sound healthy. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. And how's Futaba going to handle this whole... magic business if she's just sleeping? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay. But what are we going to do about Majed? Uh, oh, she's awake. She's up! Uh, Majed. Uh, 
Tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep mm. again? Also, her computer, like, constantly running. Utaba chan! For a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? I would love to just lie down and be like, okay, I will sleep, and then actually fall asleep. We probably shouldn't wake her up either. She's just like me for real. <laughs> uh, can you like quickly fall asleep? If so, I'm so jealous. <laughs> and hey there, Witty. Nice to see you. How are you? Also, Persona fan? What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. I mean, then again, it's like the usual stuff after beating a palace, right? We always wait till the deadline approaches and then something happens. I guess this time it's less sleeping. <laughs> 